hi friends welcome back so if you haven't watched my previous videos do make sure to watch those because those were really fun videos where we went to disney world and other places in florida and had awesome time there now we are back home guys and all that fun has ended and as we all know in us in america you have to do all your jobs on your own so as soon as we came back home this is what we saw yes guys can you see this these are all the weeds that have grown in the time we were out there enjoying in florida so unlike in india where you can have a gardener who can come and take care i mean we can do it here but that just means paying a quite a lot of money so we are going to go ahead and take care of these weeds i guess i should say not we but my husband because i'm really bad at doing all these kind of jobs though one should know how to do it so my husband is going to show you how to take care of weeds so that if you are in us or you're planning to move to us or you're someone like me who doesn't know how to do it it's very easy just play this video when you need it and get the weeds out of your backyard so i'm going to hand over this to my husband and let's do some hard work hi everyone so now you can see that these are weeds in the backyard right so weed is something like you'll see this plant is growing without any water it's inside we don't have any sprinklers and there is no water coming to the plant but it grows just because of once in a while there's a rain or something and the water is growing so how do you get rid of all these weeds right i mean if I go ahead and take these plants out one by one or cut them then they'll obviously come back because the root is going to be intact then or I can try and take them dig them out but then there are so many weed seeds out here that they'll come back again so to resolve this problem the other we have to use a chemical a weed killer that can be applied on it but the bigger problem is that there was a time when uh, you know if you lift these uh, slabs of rock underneath it there was a weed barrier and that was nothing but a cloth that keeps the weeds in but it's been more than five years so by this time these weeds have been so strong that they are able to break through the weed barrier and just come out so the first step to do this is that we are going to apply um, a chemical called roundup i mean it's, it's a brand name roundup and uh, let's take a look at it so this roundup right if you look at this product roundup now this thing um it'll be rainproof in 30 minutes and it's the results will be visible in 12 hours so we'll look at the results and if you look at it the key element in this is glyphosate this glyphosate that i'm reading that is a key chemical that kills them right and then uh, so what we need to do is six ounces we need to mix six ounces in one gallon of water so what we'll do is we'll and this is a cup that I have, a measuring cup from a different bottle. So here you can see that it shows you what is a 6 ounce. So we are going to fill this by 6 ounce and then put 1 gallon of water. We'll put, put that into this bottle. Now, now this is a sprayer. So what you do is you fill the liquid in this and you pump it up and then you can spray it out onto the weeds. Now before we do that, I'll also show you one of the very... Um, specific kind of weed and that is the Japanese knotweed now this plant that you see here this is the Japanese uh, knotweed they're very difficult to kill you know you I, I apply on these every year and they come still come back so what happens in Japanese knotweed is that they have a underground um, network of uh, roots that are linked so this guy is linked with then this guy this is his small thing and like th like that you will see that over here there's a Japanese knotweed and you see this is a Japanese knotweed so what happens is that uh, they are linked to each other see here there's another one and then if you go forward uh, you will see that that in internally the root is coming until here so this is another one so this Japanese knotweed is very difficult to kill the only thing that can kill it is the one that we showed that the roundup has the chemical in there that can kill it so we are now going to start and start applying it making the formulation and see how it goes uh, i am going to open this bottle okay 
So let's open this bottle and it's very important to wear gloves because this is a very powerful chemical and it has been said that sometimes this causes cancer. So I'm going to take this bottle out okay, and then I'm going to put 6 ounces. So that is what they have wanted, 6 ounces. So I'm going to put around 6 ounces. Let me six ounces. I'm gonna close this bottle first. Okay. And I just wanted to, you know, double check that uh, this was a six ounces. So they are essentially saying that you know it has been said for best results add six ounces per one gallon of water. Okay, for best results. So we are going to take six ounces, which is a pretty strong solution. So six ounces, and I am going to. Let's open this thing. Like this. And then I'm going to put some water in it. So let's go and have a So around one gallon of water has to be put and I have put around one gallon of water okay so and then we are going to close this okay and then we close this and then we are going to pump it okay so basically you just pump it a little bit Okay, so it has been pumped into the degree that is very difficult to close the cap. Now I'm just gonna spray the weeds starting from one side to the other. And I'm going to put it on the pack. But why are you doing in the places where there is no weed? Correct. You're doing it in every crack. Because they are starting to come now. So eventually, uh, in this section, they will start coming now. So they are just starting. So the whole thing will get full of weeds. So we are, if you come closer, you can see small, small. If you see over here, there are mm -hmm. always are small, small. So this is small weed, right? 
Oh Huge yeah. Tree. So there, there are already small weeds in there that are just waiting to. Now obviously they depend upon the water from nature. We are not giving any water from sprinkler or anything. In spite of that, they are so powerful. So if you only do on the plants that you, the weeds that you see now, then more will come. But if you do it everywhere on the whole path, because obviously they cannot come through the rock, but they can come through, only come through the cracks. So we are going to put this on the crack so that it just kills them there itself. So let me show you how much he has done so far. So he started from all the way to that end and he has traveled till here. And he has to do still this much more. After this he has to do the Japanese knotweed which is in the grass and that has to be done in a little bit of different manner because if we put this weed killer in there directly then it will destroy the grass and that is something that we don't want. So he'll show you how to protect the grass at the same time kill the Japanese knotweed. And yes guys this is only for this season because this happens every summer. So every summer you have to do all this. So guys, did you see what he did? The trick is, he took a towel and he took a bad dirty towel. And if you look at those colors, this was the towel we used for holy. So he's taking this towel wrapping it all around where this Japanese knotweed is and just leaving a little section in between and then just sprinkling that way the grass around it is protected and the chemical does not go in there smart I mean, it is not a <clears throat> foolproof method but it does help because uh, this thing the chemical goes from the, from the leaves Okay guys, so it's been a couple of days now and now let's go and see how the uh, weeds are looking and you'll see that from the first look it seems like most of them are dead and it's looking kind of clean. I mean we don't see much of the weeds but I did notice, uh, so th let's take an example. So here we can see that this is totally dead but if you look at over here there is certainly some moss. This is a moss, the moss is still there. But moss will die because it depends upon water and humid environment and this uh, city is not humid. Now if we go over here, we can see that one weed has certainly survived. So there are some tough weeds and I believe I'll have to pinpoint these in my next application. But the one thing that is amazes me is that Japanese knotweed is still alive. So which is like, I mean, See over here, I mean this thing, uh, you can see that it is still alive and in fact it has spread and it's available here, you can see it here. So the Japanese knotweed is still uh, pretty strong and I believe I'll have to apply some more 
uh, to get rid of this. And basically, you know, the, the main issue was that uh, once we applied it, the rain came the next day and it was pretty, and that may have neutralized the effects of this. So I hope you like this video. It pretty much shows how to get rid of weeds. Um, thank you. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when I put in my new video for you to enjoy. Bye!